Okay, today I want to show you how to use this little uh, Rec Sticks adapter kit to convert over your different rod holder bases to use the Rec Sticks on. So it comes with it comes with a Rec Sticks extension arm, stainless steel carriage bolt, a knob, and this adapter disc that has different teeth and gearing to work with all these different rod holder bases. So, so let's start with the uh, Scotty rod holder. So this is going to be the same for Scotty, Cabela's, Bass Pro uh, rod holders uh, that are all made by Scotty. So we just take out the bolt and the knob. You're not going to need those. And you can see there's, there's a nut in this. You don't need to take it off. Scotty uses a little bigger bolt and knob and nut than the quarter inch carriage bolt that comes with the kit. So go ahead and leave that in there and you just go ahead and put your disc on just like that of course you know pretty clear you just put the teeth against the teeth match it up there put your extension arm through with your carriage bolt and then you attach your knob now this knob only works one way you gotta make sure you can see the nut as you tighten it on if you put it on the other way the nuts can actually pull out of there so this way it tightens the nut into the knob as you tighten it down so go ahead and just tighten that in and now it's it's locked on there it's not going anywhere you loosen the knob to adjust the position whatever position you want and tighten it down simple works great this is your yak attack rod holder and you can attach the rec sticks either on the extension arm up here we're going to attach it down here on the base same process for both either position now we're going to go ahead and take off the knob here move that knob you can, we can use th this knob or you can use the knob that was in the kit. You can choose to use the spring or not. Go ahead and take that off. The carriage bolt, you can also use that. It's a little shorter than the carriage bolt, the two inch carriage bolt that comes with the Rec Sticks kit. You can use either carriage bolt. So now I'm just going to go ahead and same thing. Just put that on and then put the knob on. Or I can put the spring back and have it kind of spring loaded on there. So now when I change positions on the acta, I just push in the knob with the spring and, and rotate it. Whatever you want and then tighten it down when you're ready to fish so it doesn't move. So that's the Yak Attack rod holder base. This is a rail blazer rod holder. Um, it's going to be similar to the Yak Attack, the Scotty, the Yak Gear um, rod holder which I don't have here. We're going to go ahead, go ahead and take off the cradle, take the bolt out of the base, and now we're just going to, same as the others, put this on. Now, with the rail blazer, it's a little tight, so I'm just going to start, start it by just spinning it on there. And then once I've got the bolt exposed, I'm just going to go ahead and take my knob, put it on there, and just by tightening the knob, it's going to pull it all together. Make it nice and tight. It's not going to move at all. There you go. Tighten it down. Tighten it down. It's locked in place. Okay. And when I want to change positions, I just loosen the knob, and I can rotate the arm whatever position I want. Tighten it back up, lock it down. So now that's your rail blazer rod holder. Okay, this is the rod holder made by Ram. We're gonna go ahead and take this Ram cradle off of here. Just take the knob off. Save that pretty knob with the Ram logo in there. Take it off here. Now we've got the base. Um, you can use, choose to keep the spring on there or, or take it off either, either way. So now, with your ram rod holder base, you're probably going to want to get a longer arm. Um, it'll work with a two inch carriage bolt, but you see it's just barely coming out of this side. Um, a two and a half inch carriage bolt would actually work better, but it still works. Just be more secure with a longer carriage bolt. With all of these systems, the gearing on the adapter,
disc lets you actually double the amount of positions you can you can use for your rod holder. So I have all the different positions for the gearing on this side. I just rotate the disc one position and now I've doubled the amount of positions the arm can go in. So it gives you a lot more variety of where you want to keep that rod. Tighten it down. Now you've got the fastest rod holder out there. Push down on the arm to unlock it. It's locked in place. You're not fumbling trying to get it out of a cradle when you've got a fish on. It's, it's just that quick to take it off. So you're going to catch more fish by using that Rex Sticks rod holder.